is the 28th death anniversary of former Indian Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi. Congress President Rahul Gandhi and the UPA Chairperson Sonia Gandhi paid tribute to the former leader at his memorial in Delhi this morning. The former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh and former President Pranam Mukherjee were also present. The Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi took to Twitter to pay his tributes to Rajiv Gandhi. Prime Minister Modi tweeted, and I'm quoting here, tributes to former Prime Minister Sri Rajiv Gandhi on his death anniversary. Rajiv Gandhi, remember, was assassinated in 1991 by a separatist Lankan outfit, the LTTE. Staying with news from India, the Indian Space Research Organization or ISRO is set to launch uh, the uh, RISAT, an Earth Observation Satellite, on uh, the uh, that is of course the 48th mission of the PSLV series, the PSLV C46 on the 22nd of May. The rocket will be launched from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota. The space rocket will be carrying the uh, RISAT-28, short for Radar Imaging Satellite-28. It is the second in a series of satellites used to observe weather conditions on Earth. Using radar imagery, the satellite will be capable of monitoring weather day and night in all weather conditions. ISRO has made provisions for the public to view the launch as well from the recently opened viewers gallery at the Satish Dhawan Space Center. We are going to have the PSLV C-46 mission, which is going to launch the satellite RSAT 2 b and uh, this is a uh, very, very important mission for uh, India is concerned. The satellite is uh, the excellent uh, satellite with the, the high fi uh, earth observation satellite. And uh, subsequent to this one, we are going to have next mission from uh, July 9th to 16th, that is the Chandrayaan 2 mission, which everybody is uh, looking eagerly waiting for this particular mission. And once we are launching the Chandrayaan by August, July 9th to 16th, the landing on the moon will be on September 6th. Like that, we are going to have many, many missions this year. Moving on to other updates that we are tracking for you coming in from across the world. A day after he warned Iran of ruin, U.S. President Donald Trump has called the nation a provocateur of terror. Donald Trump first reiterated his stance on Twitter where he ruled out all reports of the United States trying to negotiate with Iran. And then he went on to slam Iran for letting its economy collapse, calling it very sad for the Iranian people. With Iran, we'll see what happens, but uh, they've been very hostile. They've truly been the number one uh, provocateur of terror in this country and, in, you know, representing their country. But certainly our country has been very much involved because we're trying to help a lot of people out. However, the American president said there was no indication that the Islamic Republic will attack the United States. We've not uh, talked about it. We'll see what happens. If they called, we would certainly negotiate. But that's going to be up to them. I'd only want them to call if they're ready. If they're not ready, they don't have to bother. Now, Trump's remarks came despite urgings from Tehran for the United States to treat them with respect and not threats of war. In fact, the Iranian president, Hassan Rouhani, has revealed that he does favor talks, but not in the current conditions. Rouhani said, and I'm quoting, today's situation is not suitable for talks and our choice is resistance only, unquote.